Oh, Vine, let's look back at Saturday's game first against Alwa. Another good win to keep the run going. How did you see the 90 minutes overall? Well, we were set out to uh, to set the record straight for starters because we know Alwa um, got the better of us last season. So it was important for us to get that right and uh, and win the game. Um, but to win with you know four four goals to one, then. Um, we take that all day long. We were uh, we're all absolutely delighted at the end of the game in the dressing room and uh, just made up to uh, to have two wins out of two games. We spoke about the character of the team after the Inverness game, having conceded early and then managing to, to go on and, and win the game fairly comfortably. To concede right on the stroke of half time, you could almost think the momentum shifted to Allah, but instead we came out and, and got a grip of the game again and, and managed to go and score another few goals. Definitely, I think you're right. You know, um, first game of the season against Inverness, and to have gone down a goal with two minutes says a lot about your character, but it also says a lot about we didn't panic. It goes to show we've got a lot of belief in one another. Um, you didn't see anyone ranting or raving after that. It was just back to what we know, back to what we've been practicing uh, day in, day out, and let that take care of it. And that's what we, that's what we did, and, and that's what we, we've done. Um, with Inverness, we knew we would get back in the game. Um, same with Alloa, conceding, like you say, just before half time. Never a good time to, to concede a goal. Um, but we just knew if we get a chance going forward, we'll take it. When you look at the, the goal that Inverness scored, the manager said after looking, it, it was a great ball in, and, and sometimes you just need to hold your hands up and, uh, and admit that you know the, the team scored a, a fairly good goal. Yeah. How did you look at the hour goal, a header obviously from the edge of the box? Was it one of them where it was unstoppable, or, or did you feel it was a poor goal to concede? Um, there's never a good goal to concede. You look at the Inverness goal to start off with, you're right, you know, you could say it was, a, it was a hell of a ball to have done that. You try and eliminate every single goal possible you try and eliminate as a team. Um, so, yeah, it, you know, you, you could, for the Inverness goal, you could say different things, how he's got there and, and vice versa. Um, same goes with the Alloa, but if we, you know, maybe another time we would have been able to clear the ball or whatever else but um, yeah it's a, it's a great header from the guy he's used the pace of the ball to to glance it the other side of me uh, which doesn't leave me with much chance to be honest with you he's just got in front of the defender to uh, to kind of uh, guide it in he's used the pace of the cross with the header and that's why it's always going away from me. In the grand scheme of things though, two goals conceded in five matches, three clean sheets. You must be happy with your own form and the form of the, the players in front of you with, with the games that's gone so far. Do you feel that with the continuity of Josh Edwards, you and Murray and Comrie and the addition of Paul Watson and, and Lewis Mayo who of course played in that second half on Saturday as well, that there's that stability of last season but there's also been good recruitment in the summer that that back four and yourself are, are, have really been able to gel and, and, and hit the ground running. Definitely, I think you're right. I think it's always, um, it's always nice, it's always easier when there is a sort of a blueprint or a um, from players that have know the know what the manager wants. Um, who's not coming in and learning from the get-go because they can then guide the other players to because certain things will happen on the pitch that you, you haven't got time to coach all the time or go over um, but because you've got like you say you've got you and Murray there who's a rock for us at the back he'll help the guy next to him to what the what the manager wants or what the manager looking for um, so yeah, it's been great. The players that have come in have been fantastic, um, hence the result. But yeah, the, the, also the players that were already here have been real rocks for us, really. You know, um, so no, the balance has been great. You've obviously had the experience of coming up against Queen of the South a couple of times last season. 
they've not had the greatest start this term, we could have the opportunity to go nine points clear them so early in the season. On the other hand, if, if they win, they close that gap on us. So it's another big game for both sets of the players this weekend, but we'll be focusing on ourselves and making sure we, we keep our run going. Yeah, um, three points at stake. Having said that, any game in this league is tough. Every single game is going to be tough. Um, Queen of the South, the, you know, they'll be coming here to try and get some points on the board. We know that. We know it's going to be a tough, tough, tough game for us. So all we can do is, is look after one another, look after us, and hopefully by doing that the result will take care of itself. But it's not going to be an easy game by any means. In the first home game of the season against Inverness, Power TV had 1,600 purchases of the, of the match. That's a great number considering households and families and all the rest of yeah. it. So there'll be more Dunfermline fans watching it than that number. You'll be hoping for similar, if not more, numbers this weekend. That even though they can't be in the stadium to cheer you on, they're sitting avidly watching it on their TV. Yeah, and you know what? We know that. Um, I had a good bond with the fans when I came here initially. And then, obviously, in lockdown then, I had a good relationship with them. And it's been great because I know we've got a fantastic fan base here. It's an unbelievable... And we are very privileged to play for, for them firmly, knowing we've got the fans behind us, the type of fans that we do have, that are willing to pay and watch us on the telly week in, week out. Um, and I'm sure you've got a, well, I, there's a, there was a couple of sus subscription from Wales in there, I'm sure as well, but it's, um, it's great. It's, it's fantastic knowing there's so many Power supporters, you know, that do tune in and pay generously to watch us play. All the best for Friday, Owen. Thank you very much.